Welcome to this training module on using the company check on Lexus Diligence. Once you've signed into Lexus Diligence, you'll be presented with three main tabs, person check, company check, and country check. Today we will be using the company check search form. There are two basic steps to running a company check. You need to enter your search terms and choose your source options. Let's begin by entering our search terms into the fields provided. For example, Today I wish to investigate Microsoft. We can also enter additional terms into our search form that are relevant to that company. For example, a keyword, a place or a person to help refine our results. For instance, if we type in the company name Microsoft, there may be hundreds of companies with the same name on the service. Whereas if we add the word technology into the additional terms, the service then will narrow down the results to any documents that have both the company name Microsoft and the keyword technology. If you are using more than one additional term, you would need to use a connector so the product understands that we want to connect our search terms together, enabling more flexibility on our searches. If I enter another keyword, for example shareholder, then I'm asking the product to return any documents where both the terms technology and shareholder have been mentioned. On the connector drop down box, if I select or, then the documents retrieved would have to have either of the words technology or shareholder mentioned. Tips will open another screen to explain how we can use the wildcard and the truncator. If I want to find any documents that mention technology or technological, then I could use the truncator. The truncator is the exclamation mark. This will allow you to retrieve all word endings, depending on where you make the stem of the word. Therefore, in my search, I shall enter the truncator after the G within technology. This will now bring back both variations of that word. The wildcard is the star and it works like the blank tile in Scrabble and will allow you to retrieve alternative spellings of a word. For example, if I enter the word internet, and replace the middle E and R with two stars, it will now retrieve results for both internet and intranet. If you do not have a company name, you can still run a search without completing these fields and just enter your keywords into the additional search box. In our example today, we will not be using any additional terms. After selecting the company we wish to search for, we now need to select the content that we wish to receive results in. There are four main source options, news sources, company sources, sanctions and warnings, and legal information. Each of the sources will appear in separate tabs on the results screen, so you can clearly see which content is brought back from each set of results. To search across all content types, make sure each of the boxes to the left of the sources are ticked. Let's focus on news sources. There are over 26,000 international and regional newspapers, magazines, journals, agencies and transcripts with an archive as deep as 40 years. News content is split into general news and negative news and will appear in separate tabs on the results page. Click onto the news sources drop down box to see choices available. There are various groups that we can select from ranging from all news or languages to major world publications through to international content such as French, German, Italian and Spanish and these sources will display the results in the actual language. To the right of the sources drop down box, once a source has been selected we could click on the blue information icon to obtain information on that source, for example what the sources are and what's covered. Today we're going to use major world publications. Next we have negative news. This is a keyword search allowing you to pick up derogatory search terms on our chosen company. If you wish to amend the search criteria, please click on the edit link to see the string and amend as necessary. The date range allows us to choose which dates we'd like to search through. It defaults to the previous two years, however there are other dates for you to choose from. Click on the drop down and you'll see dates ranging from today through to all available dates. For researching such a high profile company, I shall select a more recent date range of the last month. The next stage is to decide which types of company reports we'd like to search through. Company reports or Dun & Bradstreet or both. 
Within your subscription, you will have access to company reports on global public and private companies aggregated from nearly 400 sources. Data includes contact information, financials, directors, shareholders and business descriptions from ICC directors, Marketline, Hoovers and more. You also have access to Dun & Bradstreet Global Identifiers who will provide key data on over 200 million public and private companies around the world. For more information about these two options, please click on the blue information icon to the left. Next, select the radio button for either searching the report title or searching the full report. Use report title to locate specific reports about a company or the full report to locate journal reports that mention the company. For example, if a firm was a subsidiary of another company. Finally, select the date range and country to which we'd like to confine our results. At the top of the drop-down, you may select all countries if you prefer. Sanctions and warnings include hundreds of watch lists, blacklists and sanctions, such as OFAC, Zetco, Bush, FinCEN, Info4C and more. Select the checkbox next to sanctions and warnings to search this content. If at any time you wish to know which sources are included within an area, then please click on the blue information icon to the left of the source. Finally, legal sources use the content to check litigation history to manage legal risks of the company you're searching. Click on the drop-down to see which content is available. The last field at the bottom of the search form allows us to enter a cost code if required. The cost code may be used for many things, for example to allocate a client number against each search to keep track of how many investigations are being carried out against that code. Now we have entered our search terms, specified our sources and date ranges, we're now ready to select search to view our results on the next page. To commence the search, click on either the red search button at the top of the screen or bottom to retrieve your results. The page reloads to show the results returned from your search. You will see in the main part of the screen the separate content tabs with the news in red and in the centre you'll see the total number of results that have been returned for the negative news. You can see we have received 53 results in the negative news for the company Microsoft over the last month. The articles are listed below, highlighting the headline of each article followed by the publication date. To access any of these articles, click on the title or any of your search terms that are highlighted in red. To return to the results, use the Back to Search link at the top left hand side of the page. If you wish to change how the articles are displayed, you can use the view on the right hand side of the screen. At the moment you are viewing the articles in expanded list format, which shows me the headline as well as the keywords in context. You can also change the option for the way your articles are sorted. The default for your results will always be shown with newest first. Click on the newest first to change this to the oldest or relevance as required. To the left of the page, under Negative News Heading, you will see a variety of delivery icons to enable us to immediately print, email or download your articles. Should you want to compile a report, Report Builder is great for saving search results into single or multiple reports. Click on the document symbol at the end of each article to add the document to the Report Builder. To the left of these icons, you'll find the Narrow Your Results. This will enable you to search within results produced from your original search. Edit will bring up your original search criteria where you can make amendments. Below the narrow search you will find the results group. This is great for organising your results by source type, source and content theme. Within the section you can organise your results into a number of different ways, including subject, industry and language. Clicking on a blue link will move these results over to the right hand side of the screen for further review. For example, if I want to look at the four articles returned by the Boston Globe, I can click on the publication name, the page refreshes and just those documents load on the right hand side of the screen. I can now continue my investigations further by navigating through the tabs located at the top of the screen. As you can see, if we select the Company Sources tab, the layout of the screen will be the same. However, on this page we are viewing information aggregated from company reports. The Narrow Your Results tool that we highlighted earlier in this module, such as the ability to narrow by keyword or selecting a filter, will be available within each tab you visit. Only the narrowing method will be applied to the content you are viewing in the selected tabs. 
Alternatively, you can organise your results using the results grouping on the left to highlight reports such as people directories and profiles, or organise your reports by name by selecting source. From this page I can select reports of interest to add to my report builder and then move on to the next tab for further investigation. Click on each tab running across the top of the screen to see each content set and ensure you're conducting a full and rounded investigation. Remember, you can also deliver pages displaying no documents found to your report builder or via the immediate delivery options for audit purposes. If you'd like to complete a new search, click on the new search link or the Lexus Diligence logo to return to the home page. This concludes this module. For more guidance on Lexus Diligence, please see further modules.